an elite team of firefighters from Perth braced themselves to explore the depths of a 100-year-old abandoned mine shaft in sandstone. The crews were sent to look for missing Beverly prospectors Jenny and Raymond Kellett. 9-0. 9-0, very decomposed. I was actually there when, when that happened. A forensic team is heading here from Perth to investigate. It took them two days to, to sort the safe um, retrieval, so we uh, we knew on the on the tenth, yeah. That yeah. that was Ray's body. Yeah. Can you tell me what that moment is like? Uh, no, I, I couldn't tell you what I thought in that period of time. We knew that Ray and Jenny wouldn't have gone missing up there. I'd seen the terrain, I got taken out there the day before. Um, so from our point of view, yeah, we thought it was foul play from, from day one. The police at this point of the investigation finds a body, but yeah. they don't seem to, am I correct, in understanding, believe it's foul play they're looking at? They treated it as uh, believed to be an, an accident. But the problem for me with all of that is, where's Jenny? One person might fall down a mine shaft, and but what does that second person do? They yeah, raise help. the alarm. There's probably only two scenarios that um, it, we can't find Jenny because she's been subject to the same event that has happened to cause Ray to be down the mine shaft, or maybe she's involved. Dave, you're mm. you're you're the man though who knows both parties. Um, well, did you think that what was a possibility? No, God no. no and why, why do you say God no? Ray and Jenny, they, neither of them were aggressive people. They, there was no alcohol even found at the camp. So what, what would have sparked that off? They're in a, in a setting that they, they've been to, um, as in camping for many, many times. Just doesn't, doesn't add up. They were in love. Absolutely. This was a strong relationship. Yeah, very strong. Dave, your family would like this to be prosecuted. Yeah, would like well, the DPP to open this case. Yeah, we, we were we were dumbfounded when when it didn't go ahead um, after the inquest findings come out. So we we waited for I think it was a good six months before we decided well it might be time that we actually contact the DPP and find out what's what's going on and 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 sent them a letter and then ultimately. Another six months went past and, and then we find out that they've, they've deemed there's insufficient evidence or, or burden of proof, I think, is the, the words they used. Um, so it wouldn't be going ahead, yeah. Have you spoken to Graham Milton? I haven't, no, no. I'll Would you like to? Speak to him, no. <laughs> Has he expressed um, his remorse at, at yeah. leaving the scene and finding out later that his no. companions have either been murdered or and, and disappeared? He's, he's made no contact with our family, no, not at all. He didn't, even, he didn't go to Ray's funeral. He, didn't, he hasn't made any contact with any of um, Ray or Jenny's, Jenny's kids. We're begging for information. I mean, that's the, 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 the reason that I'm sitting here is that um, we, we have unanswered scenarios. So we've only got one side of the story. So anyone that potentially might have been in the area um, back then, back in 2015, that, that haven't come forward, then we, we, we need that information. And the, ter the terrible truth is there is a killer out yeah. there. 
The scenario of this, of, of murdering two people in, in, in this location, I mean, it's, it's a horror story. There's a, a villain, a, a person that's capable of murdering two people in the middle of nowhere, still walking the streets of Perth. Hello, I'm Liz Hayes and thank you for watching Under Investigation. Subscribe to our channel now for exclusive clips and don't miss out on full episodes of Under Investigation on Nine Now and the Nine Now app.